Hello, I am Bridget. Today my friend and I have been asked to talk a bit about world maps. They are, in a nutshell, a broad look at an entire system, a world represented on paper. Hello I am Sarah, and our job is to map out the progress inside a classroom. We will distinguish between things maps show, namely relationships, resources boundaries and lines. Map type determines function. Relationships are often spatial. Deal with the context of comparison with others, or shows development over time. We can see this in historical maps. Teachers must compare individuals to the group. Benchmarks are comparisons with societal expectations. Charting student progress involves understanding the starting and ending lines. In terms of resources, cartographers often look to what is inside the earth, the minerals, gems, energy sources, and, the allocation of those resources. In short, they chart power. Right. Students also have a type of resource that is inherent. The content they already know. The skill set they already have. Knowing these resources allows one to plan properly. Boundaries in physical geography mark the change in habitats. In political geography, the change in jurisdiction, in cultural geography, the change in demographics or ethnic groups. In education, there are also boundaries that shape learning. These can be learning styles, aptitudes, levels of exposure or isolation. Teachers should know these comfort zones. Lines ultimately make up a map. It allows for the creation of the abstract representation, the scaled version of reality, the ability to show relationship, changes, or rankings. A student also has lines. The interpretation of the often invisible learning process depends upon the teacher's level of student literacy, or how skillfully the pupils are read. 